Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching CICS Tutorial. So today I would like to share you the important topic or on the CICS like what are the important terminologies that we use while working on the CICS environment on Mainframe. So, so these are the couple of uh, important terms that we uh, uh, that we would be using while working with the CICS so there are uh, the, the, the certain things are like tr task what is a task transaction multitasking multithreading reentry and c and quasi reentry so what are these terms and uh, let's discuss in detail how uh, what is exactly a task means what transactions or what multitasking or what multithreading means so why why I'm saying these are very important means going forward so you would be listening a lot on this particular these key I can say these keywords or these particular terms which are very much used in while working with CICS okay let's uh, let me tell you about what is a task uh, what is uh, for example when uh, when you when a user is trying to invoke an application program okay so this application program is invoked by a, uh, uh, a identifier called a transaction okay so what is that do is uh, a with the help of the transaction an application program is initiated and uh, it displays some uh, it display a screen onto the cic screen okay or it displays the map onto the cic screen and where you do you do uh, where you uh, do processing uh, if for example if it is displaying if it is displaying a screen with some employee details where you have to enter the deals so here the thing is uh, a task is a like a, is a single execution of some type of transaction that means uh, a transaction could be completed through a several task okay like transaction task uh, uh, that uh, that uh, uh, I mean that calls a different several programs so uh, to give a short definition a task is a single execution of some type of transaction okay let me tell you about the transaction uh, tra uh, what is a transaction transaction is anybody it's a logically related program in an application okay uh, where uh, with the help of this transaction so you will be trying to call a program or in terms a transaction is a four byte character long length so for example uh, the transaction tr01 tr01 is my transaction id so with the help of the transaction id i'm going to initiate a particular program or a particular map or particular call through a map through a program a uh, a map is being called and it is displayed onto the screen so what is a task task is nothing but it's the single execution of that particular transaction so here with the help of transaction you're trying to uh, uh, send the map with the help of application program what is a task task is nothing but it's a single execution of some type of transaction okay so now to talk about the uh, multitasking so here the name itself indicates that it's a multitasking here the operating system allows more than one task to be executed concurrently that means uh, it can share the same program by different or share the same program or a different programs okay so you have written as you have a simple program uh, to check the mini balance statements or an uh, withdrawal so consider so you go you walk into an ATM machine so on the ATM machine first thing is you insert your card and you do uh, you'll try to select you enter your password and you'll be logging uh, to the home screen so where you'll have multiple options like checking balance uh, withdrawal mini statements uh, password change so so consider that these every option is nothing but it's a different program okay so each option is a different program and you have uh, some thousands or some millions of uh, ATMs located at different locations in the country city street or everywhere okay so with the different banks so multiple users at a time they are trying to access or they're trying to verify their balance they're trying to uh, withdraw the uh, withdraw an amount from that particular zone so the logic behind this is the same program 
the same program which was coded for checking very verifying a minimum uh, mini statement or a balance inquiry or a withdrawal that is being shared that is being shared by different users so that comes to the multitasking right so here here the users uh, multiple users can access the same program and do a uh, do a task so either it can be a same program or it can be a different program see so you have uh, the program called mini balance withdrawal okay or a balance inquiry so these are the three different programs so ATM1 ATM2 ATM3 there are four different users trying to access a minimum either they can share a same program that is minimum balance minimum balance minimum balance or minimum balance uh, withdrawal or mini statement so it can anything is possible that's the reason we say we say it as a multitasking so coming to the multi threading uh, so it is uh, it it also a same thing but here the same copy of the program is being copied to a different users so it means the same program is being shared by multiple users and it is being uh, used by them okay so that is about the multi threading and coming to the re entrancy so a re entrancy uh, actually it's a program so re entrancy is nothing but it's a program is one which does not modify itself and can re enter to itself and continue processing after any interruption or uh, interruption by the operating system so that's it that's called as a re entrancy uh, what is a quasi re entrancy it is also a same like re entrancy program under cs environment and uh, uh, it can I can say like it ensures re entrancy by acquiring unique storage uh, area of each task that is between the CICS commands and uh, the CPU re uh, resource and execute uh, other CICS commands of other task okay so it means that in, in, uh, to say in simple uh, 50 users are using a program called uh, some XYZ and CSS will pro provide 50 working storage for that program uh, program only but there will be only one procedure division and this technique we are calling it as a quasi retransit I, I hope you get it so I repeat it again so you have 50 users are using same program okay or a hundred users are using the same program called XYZ and CICS will produce 50 working storage for that particular program with the same procedure division okay and this technique we are calling it as a quasi reentrancy okay so just understand so that this, these are the very important uh, terms that we are going to use and uh, all the entire CSS hide behind this okay so if we are good with this then we have a lot of things to learn under CICS so you have to we have to write a map and what is a map set what are the different kinds of fields and what is uh, what are the different conversation we have pseudo conversation single conversation and there are multiple things and we have a storage queues a uh, oh, lot of things to do a lot of things to learn on the CICS okay so with this I'm concluding this video I hope you got some information about the important terms that we use in CICS if you have any queries or if you have any questions so break, uh, you can you can uh, either you can drop and comment at the, at the bottom of this video or if you like this video can you please subscribe share or comment on my youtube channel so this is Kumar I'm signing off for the today so thank you so much for watching have a great and pleasureful day